Alright guys, Tom here and welcome to the Xbox version of FIFA 13. Now this is a whole episode with Xbox in it. So we decide to celebrate, we'll go into a gold tournament, single player tournament on professional mode. And we start off this tournament with an absolute belter of a goal. First I pass to Simpson and then he plays it straight back to Richards. He pumps it up and look at that, straight blast it into the top left hand corner from Miles out. What a great goal to make it 1-0 in the first game of the tournament against Sevilla and then Sevilla get one of the luckiest goals I think I've ever conceded. Negrado goes down and then somehow squeezes it past my defender and slots into the bottom left hand corner in the 90th minute so I had to play through extra time and finally got to penalties with a bit of dodgy defending but finally got there and were successful in actually winning the game on penalties as their team was absolutely awful on penalties. Sevilla you really need to get some new penalty takers as I think I saved two out of the five penalties and one of them you actually missed a really really poor performance from Sevilla on the penalties but I was pretty pretty lucky I was counting my, my stars pretty high because I didn't actually play that well in that game pretty disappointed that it only came down to penalties I was really hoping that I'd get a win on just one full match without penalties at all but it then went down to the final kick and it was for Kim to slot it away ho slot it home to get into the next round of the gold tournament and we were on our way to get into the final in the first game so a really really good game which has got the man of the match for getting the absolutely sublime finish. We got 415 coins, not bad at all for winning on penalties. And the next stage of this episode, I actually realized that Kitoko didn't actually sell the guy that I got from my silver pack for going on the web app, so I discarded him for 98 coins. And here, Falcone actually gets injured. A left winger who was actually predominantly a right winger, I had to put him onto the reserves bench so he could be fit for the game after. So I had to put Kim in left winger there. And then we went into our second game of this episode against PSG, who have the likes of Ibrahimovic and the Vetsi up front, but it was no match for me as Simpson cuts inside and scores in the 35th minute from a pretty long range distance goal, slots it in the bottom right hand corner, and I did actually have the chance in the 88th minute to wrap it up and stop the awkward last few minutes, but it was no match for me. PSG were absolutely awful in that game, only got a 1-0 win, but I was completely all over them and just got much, much, much more goals. It gave the man a match to cushion the FC's Warrington keeper, which I was pretty surprised about as he didn't actually have to make that many saves in the game but no worries as we get into the third round of the cup in the tournament and thankfully Falcone was back so I could put him in the right winger position this time just to see how he did actually play and I was going to rest the Irish guy on the right wing instead. I then went into the auction market and decided to buy Rogers over the two other strikers I was contemplating over buying. He had much better pace and a better shot so I decided to buy Rogers for only 200 coins which is an absolute steal. I rested Pori so I could put on Rogers instead of him. So I swapped Loy and then put straight on to the striker position Rogers in a 4 3 3 formation from Pompey and went into the third game of the tournament against Man United. And for the first time in my ever FIFA 13 Ultimate Team journey, I actually conceded first Robin Van Persie. Who else? Robin Van Persie scores a half volley with a bit of dodgy keeping from Warrington, but no worries as straight from the kickoff, I pass it around a bit, diddly dally a bit from it from Van Persie's goal. So it was straight off from the mark Gives it to Kim And then Kim gives it straight to Rogers. Rogers just skips past Ferdinand Cuts inside and blasts it in the bottom right hand corner Past De Gea in the 41st minute Straight from Van Persie's goal And I was so so happy with that It shows complete determination from Kushni FC And then the next goal in the 90th minute Comes from a lovely chip ball from Mendy And the rested Falcone from his injury Blasts it in the bottom left hand corner In the 90th minute He definitely isn't going to miss from there And that wraps up the game 2-1 in the third round of the gold tournament so so happy from that Falcone and then Rogers scores on his debut two great great goals one from Rogers which was just from Van Persie's goal and that great heart volley from Falcone back from injury 484 coins and we reach the final of the tournament and guess who we get it up against the Champions League winners of 2011 to 2012 season Chelsea and I thought I was going to be really really hard to defeat Chelsea but Cushley FC turned up so 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 well in the 8th minute Rogers cuts inside and blasts it in the bottom left hand corner against Petacek Petacek can't do anything about that a world class keeper and Rogers is just on fire so happy I got this guy and we managed to continue the whole game and managed to win the whole gold tournament so this has been such a such a good episode the first ever episode full episode on xbox for the ultimate
Ultimate Team. And it was the first ever episode which I've actually played a game. So, so, so happy with the win. Winning Chelsea, the Champions League winners with some amazing players. Hazard, Fernando Torres, Lampard. And we actually get fireworks to celebrate this win. And, of course, we got a lot of coins as well. We do actually get a 1,000 coins from winning the tournament. And, collectively, get 1,400 coins from winning that game and the tournament. Roger's been a key player in, in, for Ratchet's actually reaching the final and winning the trophy hopefully if you enjoyed this episode and we get some more tournament runs thanks for watching please give the video a like and goodbye